In this video, we're going to show you our new Case IH closing wheel kit. It's hard to find Case IH row units in this area. You can probably tell that this one has been damaged and it doesn't really have that much wear on these pins, but this will show you how our product will fix them. First, you're going to need to remove the four bolts holding the arms together and the long bolt through the closing wheel. Remove the closing wheel assembly from the planter. So now we got our arms. Grind the end of the worn pin so it can be welded and remove any paint or rust that prevents our new pin from sliding over the existing pin. Using a hammer, install the new pin flange side first up against the stop. Make sure our bushing is all the way against the larger diameter part of the pin. While holding it tight, plug weld the inside of our bushing to the old pin. Complete this on both sides. The closing wheel arm bushing holes get reamed to an inch and a quarter. You will need to drill these holes out first to just under an inch and a quarter, then finish by using the reamer. Place bearing retainer around the silver outer bushing up next to the flange. Then press our outer bushing into the arms with the flange towards the inside so it will be next to the inner bushing flange when installed. Place one of our quarter inch plates between one arm and the center bracket using our new longer bolts and nuts. The carriage bolt comes through from the inside and is used in the back hole. Place the arm and center bracket on the correct pin. Place the other arm on the opposite pin and install using our longer bolts and another quarter inch spacer. Make sure all bolts are tight on closing wheel assembly, center bracket. Use our new longer bolt and spacers to install the closing wheel. Spray each bushing with WD-40 to complete the install. Thank you for watching.